Hello, my fabulous fifth graders. Today's lesson is on how to compare and order whole numbers through the millions. Our I can statement today is, I can use my knowledge of place value to compare and order whole numbers. When we are comparing, we need to use certain symbols. We have a this symbol, which means greater than. This symbol tells me less than. And finally, our equal sign means that they are equal to, they have the same value. In our very first example, we have a table that shows the two largest oceans in the world. And we need to know which ocean has a greater area. Because each digit is given its value by its place in the number, we're going to use this place value chart to make sure that we are comparing the correct digits to find our values. So first I'm going to fill in the Atlantic Ocean into my place value chart. Again, I'm going to use these handy dandy little commas here to break it into periods to help make sure I am doing this correctly. In my ones period, I've got a 160. My thousands period has a 420. And my millions period has a 33. Now, I can read this number, 33,420,160 is the area of the Atlantic Ocean. Now let's do the same thing for the Pacific Ocean. My ones period, 600. My thousands period, 186. And my millions period, 64. When I'd like to compare values, I should start with the greatest value. Using this place value chart helps me know that all of the places are lined up so they make it easy to compare. My largest value is here in the 10 millions. When I start at the greatest place, the 10 millions, I see that the Pacific Ocean has a 6 in the 10 millions place, while the Atlantic Ocean has a 3 in the 10 millions place. I know that 6 is greater than 3. Since 6 is greater than, then 3, then 64,186,600 is greater than 33,420,160. So the Pacific Ocean has the greater value. Here's another example, and they were so kind to already line this up by their place values here for us. We're going to find the area in square miles of different countries. We're going to use place value to order them from greatest area to least area. This is another one of those questions you need to make sure you are very carefully reading so that when you write your answer, you are putting your numbers in the order that the question has asked for. So step one they did for us. They lined up the digits by place value. Now we are going to compare the digits in the greatest place. The greatest place is the millions place. I have a one, a two, and another one. I know that two is greater than one. So this country is going to have the greatest area. I'm going to double check back here to my chart, and I see that the country with a 2 in the millions place is Australia. I will fill in the name Australia here in my notes. Step 2, I need to find out about the other three countries. I know that I have a 
one in the millions place and a one in the millions place. So we've already taken care of the millions place. I need to compare the digits in the next place. That is the place to the right. So in the hundred thousands place, I have a zero, a not, oops, we've already taken care of this one, a zero, a two, and a one. I know that two is greater than zero. I know that two is greater than one. So this country is going to have the next greatest value. I'm going to, again, double check here in my table, and I see the number that has a one in the millions place and a two in the hundred thousands place. That country is India. I will fill in India in my notes. So we have taken care of this country as well. Now we have two countries left that we are comparing. The countries that we have left are Argentina and Norway. Now I can see here Argentina has a digit in the millions place, but Norway does not. That tells me right away that Argentina has the greater area than Norway because it has a, more than a million square miles, while Norway has less than a million square miles. Since 1,068,296 is greater than, let's see, let's fill this in, 125,181, the area of Argentina is greater than the area of Norway. So, if we order the countries from greatest area to least area, Australia is in first place. Second place, we have India. Next, Argentina. And finally, Norway. Here are three questions I would like you to try on your own. Remember that when we're comparing and ordering whole numbers, we need to make sure that we are lining them up by their place values so that we are comparing digits with the same value. Be sure to use this symbol to represent greater than, this symbol for less than, or equal to. I look forward to seeing how you do in class tomorrow. That brings us to the end of today's lesson. Our lesson today was on comparing and ordering whole numbers through the millions. We used our place value chart to make sure that we were using our knowledge of place value to compare and order these numbers.